237 here. All right, we just started our climb up Kauai Gen. It's about 9,000 feet in elevation, about 2,800 meters. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to get to the top here. <clears throat> Running on fumes right now. We did uh, Mount Bromo, hiked that 24 hours ago. Yeah. So we had to get up at two for that. Slept two hours that night. We got up one this morning. Might have got five hours last night, so. Yeah, active volcanoes back to back for sunrise hikes. Let's see how this goes. This is one of the most touristy things I've ever done in my life. It's impossible to get away from people. Help me. Yeah, this is bad, bro. They call these uh, Lamborghinis. These people get these carts and they have, they got one guy in the front, or two guys in the front sometimes, pulling you and one guy pushing you in the back. I think it's like, it's a million or one and a half million rupees, which is 60 or $90, I'm not entirely sure, but Mike wanted to take one, I told him. Yeah. We can't be doing that shit. I think I might still get one. They would have let us double up. Maybe we would have done it. We're smoking the crowd right now. No, this is embarrassing. We've passed everybody, but it's super annoying. The hiking poles, whatever they're called. People are just sticking them everywhere. Like Yeah, they take up the space of like three people. Also these carts, like, I don't blame the guys. It sucks pushing someone up the hill. But these cards, honestly, should be banned. If you can't do the hike, like, you can't be taking a cart. Come on, man. Shame. 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 Straight to jail. All right, it's 3:34, so it took us like exactly an hour to make it to the top. Um, now we're about to start walking down in to the volcano and yeah. to see the blue flames. It's a sulfur mine, so you gotta wear this gas mask. It's very hard to breathe up there. Don't know how much talking we'll be able to do. A couple chunks of sulfur right here. No. Bro, no way. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> sulfur. Most of those baskets weigh like 165 to 200 pounds. It's like 75 to 90 kilograms. And the locals that work in the mines, they'll do one or two trips a day. They make about a thousand rupees per kilogram of sulfur, which is actually a pretty good wage I was reading compared to the average wage in East Java. It's gonna be a long wait. This is terrible. There's like a thousand people in front of us. Clubby Gen. Down in the sulfur mines. It's about time to put on the gas mask. It's getting tough to breathe. It smells awful. And it just doesn't even filter the smell though. Yeah, it smells like rotten eggs. Uh, it burns your eyes. Yeah, my eyes are killing me right now. That's good, man. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. The dragon roll like this. Good for you, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> from America. 
This guy's a pro here, no mask on. Hello, uh, my name is Opie, lovely friend. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, a local, he's Boston. immune to it. Built different. <laughs> you can use that way, friend. Toot, toot, no way. He's going so fast. <laughs> One of the dumbest things I've ever done. Yeah, de uh, definitely top three. Yeah, we uh, we got here early though. We're uh, probably one of the earliest groups down here. We're gonna start the climb back up through that huge line and you go up to the top uh, top of the crater and you can kind of look down for sunrise so I'm gonna start climbing up there now <laughs> We made it up to the top. Not a bad spot here. All right, we made it to the top. 528 exactly, here. Exactly two hours from the start of the hike. Yeah, that's where we were down at the bottom. Down there, that's the sulfur mine behind this cloud here. When the sulfuric gas is released from the ground and it comes in contact with oxygen, it ignites and creates like a blue flame. Pretty mid though. Really not that cool, I don't think. <laughs> it's like in just in one spot and there's a lot of people that just go to hike down there to see the blue flames and then they just leave like yeah i think this sunrise view looks a lot cooler honestly yeah this is totally worth it i would highly recommend just coming up here for the sunrise which is usually between 5 30 to 6. just come straight to this viewpoint forget the flames another unesco site that let us down yeah it's got to. it's got the unesco badge it's blown up that crater down there, the lake at the bottom, it's the most acidic lake in the world. The blue flames down there, there's only one other place in the world. It's in Ethiopia where you can see that, where the sulfur's actually ignited. Yeah, it's extremely toxic down there. The water contains hydrochloric and sulfuric acid. The water temperature is like a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, like 600 degrees Celsius. It's crazy whenever you come to like a like a really nice sunset view, you'll see girls just standing around taking selfies because the lighting's really good. They're paying no attention to the actual thing they hiked or came to see. Hello. Hello, excuse me. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Best twelve dollars I've ever spent. Good one, good one. Slow. Slow. Okay. Good luck, good luck. Good break? Good breaks, yeah. Oh, good break, yeah. <laughs> All right. Mike couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> couldn't take it. Taking a ride down. It's nice, you get like a little express lane if you're in a cart here. We know who the stronger twin is. Yeah, we know who the alpha <laughs> twin is here. Testing out these trail running shoes. Parkour, parkour. <laughs> parkour. 
my nips are chafing bad. I don't have that problem. I gotta get medical attention soon. I'll have Mike rub some ointment on them for me. All right, we've made it down to the bottom. Yes, sir. It's Good. much much easier coming down, obviously, but it's still like a 30 degree grade, so your quads are burning. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stand once we make it to the bikes. Yeah, the back-to-back -back sunrise volcano hikes. Not recommended. No, they're getting to us. Yeah. We're gonna go back to the hotel, order some McDonald's breakfast, slam that, and then uh, shower, get ready. Then we're gonna take a ferry from Banyuwangi to Bali. Check out this feast right here. This is quite the spread. Got some uh, definitely real scrambled eggs, little sausage McMuffin, and a nice little coffee. All right, guys, we did it. We uh, we crossed Java in about 15 days. We we just left. Um, that's Kauai Jen over there. Um, leaving now, heading to Bali. Yeah, we're on a ferry crossing from Java over to Bali. This same ferry, well, not this exact ferry, but like a month ago it capsized in the middle of the ocean and 38 of the 53 passenger died. passengers died, so. Yeah, that's good. I like so those odds. fare better. Yeah. Well, we, we're gonna get to the island of Bali on the west coast and then we got uh, a really shitty like four hour drive to get to where we're staying. And uh, yeah, gonna stay there for probably like five days to a week. Don't really know if we're gonna film any videos. Gonna take a, take a little bit of time off here. We've been going pretty hard. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Crack them if you got them.